Hey, Angela. Hey, Mark. Is that what I think it is? I sure hope it is. All right, come on in. So, what do you think is the most exciting thing that we're working on right now? Oh, that's hard to say. You know, we have such an exciting pipeline. But next year, we are releasing a new product that will push the boundaries of VR even further. We've co-named it Project Cambria. So, this isn't the next Quest. It's going to be compatible with Quest, but Cambria will be a completely new, advanced, and high-end product, and it'll be at the higher end of the price spectrum, too. Our plan here is to keep building out this product line to release our most advanced technology before we can hit the price points that we target with Quest. All right, so let's talk about some of the new advances here. Yeah, sure. There's a ton of new tech going into Cambria. For example, your avatar will be able to make natural eye contact and reflect your facial expressions in real time. This way, people you're interacting with will have a, a real sense of how you're actually feeling. It does mean building more sensors into a form factor that's comfortable to wear for a while. And because we want VR to be for everyone, we also have to make sure avatars represent a diverse set of human facial features and skin tones, as well as paying attention to things like um, glasses and beers that may get in the way of some of the sensors. So that's going to be a big step forward for social presence, and I'm really glad that we're focused on making it inclusive from the start. Now, what about unlocking more mixed reality experiences? I mean, imagine working at your virtual desk with multiple screens while seeing your real desk so clearly that you can pick up a pen and write notes without taking your headset off. Or, you know, you're doing a workout with a virtual instructor in your living room. It's going to be so cool. We're already seeing the potentials of these kinds of experiences today as people are building for our pass-through API. But with Cambria, we'll be taking this to the next level with high-resolution, colored, mixed reality pass-through. We essentially combine an array of sensors with reconstruction algorithms to represent your physical world in the headset with a sense of depth and perspective. Now, we're still a ways away from exactly matching what our eyes see in the physical world, but we're pretty encouraged by how far we've been able to advance the pass-through experience so far. Definitely. But we also need to push the visuals to the next level. So let's talk about the progress that we're making on optics. Yeah, we're pushing the limits of display technology and form factor with something called pancake optics. They essentially work by folding light several times over to achieve a slimmer profile than current lenses. Now with several optical layers, we'll need to precisely control every aspect of design and fabrication to achieve that high quality artifact free display and really just deliver the best optics ever in one of our headsets. That's pretty awesome. Uh, but let's make sure that we leave some of the good stuff for, for next year's release too. All right, now I'm excited to keep building out this new product line over future generations so we can keep getting our most advanced technology into people's hands even before we can get it into our Quest product line. That's our goal. We're starting to work with developers to build experiences for Cambria as we speak. And we're looking forward to sharing so much more with y'all next year. Sounds good.